Letter to the editor It saddened me to read William A. Jacobson's column My pro-free speech views made me the target of a smear campaign at Vassar College. During his speech, he dared to talk about the inherent tension between free speech and safe spaces. But since the term hate speech was in the title of the talk and examination of hate speech and free speech some overly sensitive students took that as a trigger warning. To them, the speech itself was not only alarming but also quite dangerous. If Jacobson's words were uttered on campus, those words would themselves be a form of violence in their midst. This is not the Vassar College I once knew. When I was a student there, more than 35 years ago, the Vassar Spectator was founded on campus. I enthusiastically participated in helping to get this conservative literary journal up and running not because I was particularly aligned with the ideological views of the publication, but rather because I thought it essential to have a variety of opinions and perspectives well represented and expressed on campus. Many students, faculty and administrators expressed similar enthusiasm for the intellectual diversity that this publication helped foster. It's too bad that there has been a dramatic change over time in this ideal. Ironically, it's at the most liberal of liberal arts schools where the fear of ideas not aligned with one's own seems to have become an acute anxiety disorder. This episode saddened me, but it did not surprise me. Nothing surprises me any more about the goings-on at my alma mater. Polly Greenberg, Brookline, Mass. More my pro-free speech views made me the target of a smear campaign at Vassar College comments are edited for clarity and grum are welcome to the new age, where colleges teach group think instead of critical thinking. What Jacobson went through is pretty much the same as any person who has a slight conservative leaning in a liberal area. I live in Oregon, and you better believe I keep my views to myself for fear of being ostracized and attacked. Brandon Peterson offer classes on this subject, have debates, get administration to have more open forums for students. Tell us today, all over the map 10 at all over the map 10 November 7, 2017 Hate speech is free speech, but the people of Vassar College have the right to say not here, go spew your hatred someplace else. The same conservatives who claim a bakery does not have to bake a cake for a sandwich and our wedding need to understand we have the same right to tell them they cannot speak here. Ken Bauer tell people to grow up and understand there are other opinions out there. All American Drew at Real America Drew November 7, 2017 Could this have all been started when they first gave participation ribbons and trophies to kids just for showing up during that time? Those children were taught there were no losers and they were always right. Years later, we have a bunch of entitled kids who always want things their way. They are so narrow-minded that they become upset when someone else voices a different opinion. Snowflakes, Harry Houdini this time's a billion. As long as the opinion ISNT to kill maim another group then all opinions should be heard. Colin Douglas at Colin underscore Douglas November 7, 2017 Unfortunately, freedom of speech is not a one-way street. The protesters have as much right to express their opinions as do the speakers. James Torlitskito join the conversations about topics in USA Today. Email letters at usatoday.com. Comment on Facebook or use Telesatoday on Twitter. Read or share this story. http sussit.ly2i3evs.